talked about it before the game. Coach just said, uh, you know, obviously it's a tough situation for everybody. You know, they have to play today, especially the ones that um, you know, were friends with Coach and um, had a, a real relationship with him. You know, we got two guys in our locker room who are really close friends with him. And, you know, they ended up guys like myself and CJ who actually had a friendship with him and was familiar with him. So, um, and we're not the only ones. I'm sure there's a few guys on each team who, who feel the same. And um, also guys that um, looked up to him, and, you know, who he, he's their hero and coaches that he played against and that he played for. And it's just um, the referees included. I mean, they, everybody, you know, had, felt the way today, you know, and hurt today. Um, but you know we had to, to carry on, so um, I think it was it was the right decision for us to go out there and compete in this honor. You know I think that's what he would have wanted, um, and I just think that was um, what was on everybody's mind. Obviously throughout the game, you think about it, and like I said earlier after the game, the timeouts and just random dead moments of the game, you um, he's on he's on your mind um, because it's just such an unfortunate, sad situation. But, it was a, just a tough game to play as far as, you know, your energy and where your, your heart is, to, to say the least. Dean, you had mentioned pregame that you didn't know how to go out there and play. How did you, was it, like, what, did you put it behind you or did you use it? Like, no, nah, I mean, I didn't, I wouldn't say I used it or put it behind me. I just kind of um, played the game. You know, once the game started and fouls started getting called, they, you know, teams making shots, it kind of just turned into like a game and it was almost like an escape. Um, and like I said, just in those moments where um, you're sitting on a bench and longer time out and you're just sitting there randomly, you know, came in my mind a few times, I was just like, man, you know, that's, that really happened. And um, I think that was it, you know, but um, just play the game, just try to get lost into the game. You said that you and Coach had become friends. What, what was it about your relationship that you were reflecting most on today? Um, just the fact that, you know, he was gone. You know, it just seemed unbelievable. Like, just, it couldn't possibly be true. Um, but I, the thing that, that stands out to me the most is just how every time I ever reached out to him, every time I, you know, tried to speak with him, he got back to me. You know, he would text back, he would call back. You know, to think about it, like he's Kobe Bryant. You know, how many people are pulling his leg and trying to reach out to him and get in touch with him? How many players? Um, you know, so that was that was just special to me. You know, somebody I grew up, looked up to, and, and cheered for, and became one of his peers and got to know him and you know became friends with him. So it's, you know, I think about it now because I'm like, you know, you, every, we all take um, every day for granted. Sometimes you just expect to wake up and go to sleep and wake up and go to sleep and uh, it's, you know, that's not the way it is. You know, things happen so this is really uh, unfortunate. Is there a memory of playing against him that stands out to you? Um, I think, I mean, the very first game of my career was against Kobe. Uh, Halloween night 2012 and they came in and had you know, Dwight, Powell, Kobe, Steve Nash, Anton Jameson and I mean, I don't get, I don't really get nervous, you know, and get butterflies and stuff like that. But I walked on the court and I was just like, you know, that's Kobe over there. So I mean, I always have that memory. Um, and even his last game, I remember we had a game the night they played their last game, and we was keeping track of what he was doing, you know, at, at the arena. Um, so it's, it just, it just shows how much of a legend, you know, that he is. Dave, that your rookie year too, I think it was one of your last games. We and him got yeah. back and forth. Yeah, I remember LA going into the state. Yeah, that was the game before he got hurt. Yeah. yeah, we had a lot of guys sit out. And, um, best player I ever played against. I don't know what else to say.